The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Sarah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of her son. Son became the father of Ram. Ram became the father of Mimadab. Amimadab became the father of Nashon. Nashon became the father of Solomon. Solomon became the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse. Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam. Rehoboam became the father of Abihab. Abihab became the father of Asaphat. Asaphat became the father of Josahapha. Josahapha became the father of Joram. Joram became the father of Uziah. Uziah became the father of Jotam. Jotam became the father of Ahaz. Ahaz became the father of Zekiah. Hezekiah became the father of, Masa, of Manasseh. Manasseh became the father of Amos. Amos the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Shalatiel. Shalatiel became the father of Serubabel. Serubabel became the father of Abud. Abud became the father of Elikim. Elikim became the father of Asor. Asor the father of Sadok. Sadok became the father of Akim. Akim the father of Eliud. Eliud the father of Elisir. Elisir became the father of Matan. Matan became the father of Jacob. Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her, of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Jesus. All those names, right? <laughs> this gospel is inviting us to consider those beautiful things. First of all, we are God's family, and that's so precious, and we give thanks to the Lord for that opportunity. Because in this genealogy of Jesus, we find two people that are outsiders, that are not from the Israelites' um, tribes, and are not familiar with the commandments of God. As we know, Ruth is an stranger, is an outsider, and Rahab is also a prostitute. Both vindicated their ways and became family of Jesus. Family of Jesus. And that is so important for us because sometimes we feel like outside this world, uh, this love of God, outside this family of God, because of our sins, imperfections, inclinations, appetites, because our way of think, and even because our way of act, or probably because we came to the faith in different ways. But this geneal genealogy, genealogy of Jesus is inviting us to consider that, that Jesus doesn't care about it. He wants us to be his family. He wants us to be close to him. That's why he put out his blood and, and, uh, and mercy on the cross. So we may become his family, and that's so beautiful and insightful from him. So let us consider that while we are his family. No matter how we act, he is always inviting us to vindicate so we may see him as he is. And the second important thing from this gospel of today's uh, December 17th is that we start the great antiphons today. Eight days in which we have chosen different antiphons in the Holy Catholic Church, in which we say something about the prophecies about the Messiah. And today's antiphon is O Sapientia. The O antiphons are known because are uh, from the seventh century and makes us ready in, the, in, in these eight days to follow 
to prepare our ways and meditate something about the Messiah in the Old Testament. So I invite you to consider today this O Sapiencia, which is O Wisdom. Everybody in the Old Testament proclaimed that Jesus Christ will be the wisdom of God and he is coming. So that's we are invited today to meditate in this wisdom of God that is born of the Virgin Mary to lead us in this wisdom. Amen. <laughs>